Hi, I, I'm Sean Harding, from, professor for the National Heart and Lung Institute. We're at Hammersmith Hospital, just down the road, and we've come uh, to show you all our science, so the, the most cutting-edge science we've got in, in this heart and lung repair shop. And so what I'm going to talk to you about today is stem cells and making new heart muscle out of stem cells. And I'm going to represent uh, a stem cell with this tasty, tasty chocolate button minstrel here. And if you stay to the end of the demo, you might even get to, to taste some of the, the leftover stem cells. So please do sit down and, and, uh, and, and start. So stem cells are, uh, in your body are the ones that everything springs from. There are, there are various types and indeed flavors of stem cells. The ones I'm talking about today are pluripotent stem cells, and they can make virtually any tissue in the body. So when you have a stem cell, if you, if you have it under one condition, it will just reproduce itself. It will, it will divide and become two cells. So you'll start off with one cell. It will divide and it will become two cells. And then they'll divide and they'll become four cells and until you, it goes on and on and on. And they're immortal. And so they will just keep dividing and dividing until you can get very large quantities of, of tissue. But then what they can also do is they will... Once they, they do that, if you change the conditions and you put in some other factors, and, and we, we get our factors, we know about the factors from how the baby develops in the womb, um, they can turn into any cells. They can turn into heart, they can turn into neurons, uh, brain, they can turn into kidney. And so they, they're the cells from which everything stems. And so um, if, you, if you just let them do it naturally, that you'll get a mixture of cells like this, the, represented by this delicious skittle. And, um, and so if we just want heart cells, what we can do is we can either take out the red ones, and we can do this with a sorting machine that we've got at the place, we can just uh, get out the ones, or we can learn the lessons from development and put in only the factors that seem best able to produce heart. And we can get all heart cells if we want to do that. And after the demo, I'm going to, uh, to ask you to come and, and Nicola over here will show you some things, some stem cells, uh, stem cells derived at my sites. We made some heart cells that we've already made. And so these are new cells that we made ourselves from stem cells. Now, one of the most exciting things, though, is not that the body can do this naturally and that we can harness this, but a couple of years ago, somebody won the Nobel Prize because they realized you could take one of these cells and go back to the stem cell. So, I mean, who here's had a blood test? Everybody had blood tests? Have you? Um, well, you could take, in that blood test, you could take some of the blood cells, um, you know, say, take some blood cells, and by, by the lessons we've learned about stem cells, we know that there are four factors, four factors that make them stem cells. So what we do is take your skin cell, or your blood cell, and give them those four factors, there's some DNA, which really just means putting some stuff in a dish with the cells, actually. And, and the DNA gets in and it changes them into a stem cell. So now they've got all the, they call, we call them induced pluripotent stem cells because they've come from your body. And then you can do exactly what you did with the natural stem cells and to make them into either everything or, or a heart. So you can now make, uh, and, we, and it's been done lots of times, uh, muscle, heart muscle, from your own blood cells. So you could, you could have uh, your, your own heart muscle and, and do it. And actually, there are companies that do it for you if you want to. You can, buy some, uh, you can buy some cells or you can have your own cells made, should you wish to. I don't know what you'd do with them. I'd keep them as a pet. I don't know what. But um, so there's two things that come from this. One is that if you make cardiac muscle from this, so that's you. And you've got your skin cell. And you've made your stem cell from it. And you've made your heart cell from it. You can now put it back into you. And it won't be rejected. So unlike a normal organ transplantation, if you have a heart transplant, you have to take anti-rejection drugs for all your life. If you did it this way, you don't, because it matches you. It's already you, so you don't have to do that. 
Now, the second interesting thing is that if you've got something wrong with your heart, if you've got a mutation in your heart, and say you, your rhythm is, is disturbed, your heart rhythm is disturbed. I mean, have you, did you hear about the footballer from Queen's Park Rangers who collapsed on the pitch uh, last year? Um, he, he, had a, he had what they call hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And athletes often get this. And the first thing they know about is they collapse because all their heart rhythm has been disrupted during the exercise and sometimes they just die. But uh, he was saved, as it happened. And um, so if you do that, if, you take, uh, if you've got a heart rhythm problem and you take the, the cells, you make the heart cells from your cells, those cells in the dish, yes? What cells do you use to make well, you can, make, you can do it from anything. You can do it from blood or you can skin or tooth pulp. That's quite good, actually. Yeah, so, so it doesn't really matter. You, you, can, you can reprogram almost any cell in your body to go back to a stem cell. Blood's the most convenient. Skin's quite good, actually. That's the first one they first did it on. But tooth pulp's also... Uh, same really good. What's the story about the Japanese scientists making with the stem cells of skin cells? That's an acid or Oh, yes. Um, so they thought there was a shortcut to do it. Um, so, so this one uses the DNA. And that, that's the guy who got the Nobel Prize did that. And everybody can do that. Um, the one who did the acid, they thought they got, got a quick way of shocking cells into becoming stem cells. In fact, there's lots of arguments about it. I don't think, they, I don't think anyone can, can reproduce their data. So we, we're just still wondering about whether we can. But we've got a perfectly good way to do it. We don't really need that. Um, so that would have been convenient, but, but this is also fine. Um, so anyway, so if you've got something wrong with your heart and you make these cells, you can see in those cells the rhythm changes that you see in the person. And, and that's surprising because we thought maybe you'd have to wait a long time. You know, people don't usually get this till they're sort of in their 20s or some 30, 15 or 20. Perhaps we'd have to wait for the cells to go 15 years. Uh, but actually, no, it, even after a couple of months, we can start to see these rhythm changes, which means you can study it, which is great, because scientists, we just like to study things. But um, you also try out drugs to see whether this particular drug might help that particular person. And drug companies are really interested in this and, and are starting to collect lots of um, patients and lines, etc., so they can start testing and getting new drugs for that. And uh, when people who want to make money start to be interested. You have to know it's working properly, actually. So I think that's the main thing. So um, I'll show you a... If you use this same gene, if you, got, if you have any genetic disorder with the heart, yeah. that you will have the same genetic problems, wouldn't would you? So uh, that's very true. And, and so that's one of the, the, the things that you'd worry about. So that you, that you would the genes. That's right. You might, but of course, it's easier to modify the genes when they're in a dish than it is when they're in your heart. So, um, so, I'm, so I'm just showing you some, some videos now of, of the cells that we've made. But um, as I say, there's some real ones over there if you want to go down and look down the microscope at them.